I correct people. I don't come again with another approach. Oh, all his father and his elder brother don't break record as they came out to speak about the clashes they are having in the palace right now. They said they have kept quiet for some time because they didn't want their family problem to be out on the media and keeping it that way never changed anything. On his father said enough with being quiet that he cannot be alive and as the elder in the palace and watch his family degraded and pushed around this way all because of the little mistake his son made about choosing the wrong woman to marry. My people, oh, you know I've promised you all before that I will be updating you daily on any news that we hear coming from the palace. So now the honest father and his brother are speaking up about the clashes in the palace. So my people, I know by now you must have heard about the fire outbreak that took place on Friday night in Ileife. And ever since this fire outbreak, there has been a lot of accusation going on in the palace. Some people are blaming and accusing Olovi Miriam for being responsible. Some are accusing Olovi actually. People like Gislova are pointing accusing fingers on Queen Naomi's brother. So when we heard that Kabi Esi's father came out to speak up about the incident and how they have all been fighting in the palace, we thought that he was coming out to make peace, at least to quiet down the drama that has been going on at the palace. But my people, you won't believe what Oni's father said. Though what he said was the pure truth, but we never expected him to lash out like this, according to what we heard. Kabi Esi's father said that, no one should be blamed in the palace. He said that they should stop blaming or pointing accusing fingers on this Olovi or Penami's brother. That the only person that he is coming out to blame in this scenario is the Kabi AC. Kabi AC no they hear word. Kabi AC doesn't listen to advice. If he had listened to the advice that they gave him, all these things wouldn't be happening right now. On his father said that when Pinaomi left the palace, he advised the KVAC personally as his son and also as the king that he is. What he ought to do is to bring back Pinaomi, let him sort out any issue that they are having, let them sort it out and then bring her back to the palace. But then when the KVAC was trying to prove all stubborn because he was listening to the wrong people, they advised him to forget about Queen Naomi to marry more women into the palace. Since uh, he's the king, um, he doesn't need to question his decision. But he advised him that if he's to marry again, then he should be very careful. He should pay close attention to any woman that is going to bring into the palace. That if he brings the wrong woman, the woman is going to bring his downfall. That he should be very careful in choosing any person that he wants to call his queen. And when the only was making plans to marry Olovi Miriam, Kabi Esi's father said that he warned him. Olovi Miriam has been coming into the palace. She had been coming in and going out of the palace, even when Olori Naomi was staying in the house. And the kind of characters that Olori Miriam was exhibiting then, it wasn't a good one. That this woman is not someone that is supposed to be kept inside the palace, nor is she the kind of woman that stays under a man. So he warned the Kabi AC to be very careful before he went, even went ahead to marrying all these Uluri, that they advised him against it. But since he's the Kabi AC, he thought that women should be given a chance, that they are as important as the men in the society. So it's better that he brings these women that they have a lot of things to offer. That these women are well educated. They are equal to the tax. That was what the KBSC said. That they should be given a chance. And now look at how the chance that they gave to these women is causing chaos in the palace. So nobody should blame any person um, because of the things that is happening in the palace. Now the only person that he blames is the KBSC, his son. That if he had listened, then they wouldn't be in this page. And as we have noticed so far, the Kabi Esi's father is not that person that tries to hide the truth. He doesn't hide evil. He speaks up whenever it's necessary. Remember when Naomi left the palace and the Olori Miriam, when she first started dragging Queen Naomi? Kabi Esi's father was the first person that ever cautioned Olori Miriam. 
about ever going after Queen Naomi. Kabiesi's father was the first person to stand up for Queen Naomi in that palace before all these people started mimicking him. It was Kabiesi's father. He says the truth the way it is without quoting words. So for him to come out to say that Oni is responsible, and if you should look at it from my own perception, Oni is wrong as well because if the Kabiesi had listened to any of their advice, then all this problem that has been happening in the palace wouldn't be as bad as it is now. So my people, what is your say about this? Please leave your opinion down below.